Look what you did! Cool, man. Look what you've done. <laughs> Look, oh shit, oh god, I'm sorry, nurse. Oh shit, snacks and patty wax. I just, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm bleeding. going on again nerd paraders thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out today we're back in the wasteland in seven days to die and we're gonna be picking up from where we left off in the last episode and that is grabbing all of mine shit Liter literally literally why you know i can't stand when there's things on the ground i have all the encumbrance now i gotta go back to our church and drop things off welcome to the channel guys thank you so much for coming to hang I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade. Without further ado, we're going to accomplish the mission that we set out to do in the last episode and casually just uh, glossed over it. That's enough for now. We are going to take out the, the little mission, the zombie point. And we do have a drop that's kind of sort of in the same general vicinity. No, it's not. It's nowhere near in the same general vicinity. That drop is going to get completely ignored unless somebody, wa somebody else wants to get it. Nobody volunteering? All right, then it's not. We're done. That drop is never going to make it to the light of day. Or night. Or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. But welcome to the channel anyway. Thank you so much for coming to hang. We're going to try to do what we can to get ourselves some levels. And then we've got to pick some kind of base area location to dig a hole into the bottom of the world. We're going to become mole people again because that is the best way to do a base, in my opinion, in seven days to die. Now, I forgot to do, introduce the people that I'm here with. I'm here with Rambo, Mine, and Yoda. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today as we play some seven days to die. How you guys doing? All right? Yep. Awesome. Yes, that's good news to hear. Uh, I think we're actually at the marker. 21 meters? Yeah, we're kind of right on it. If anybody... Oh, just in case you don't have the thing, let's share it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share it really quick. That's not it. That's not it. This is the one. Okay, it wasn't working because we weren't in a fucking team. I'm sharing the quest. Share, 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 share. If you haven't gotten it, grab it. Oh, God, we're getting swarmed, and we should be able to start this event here any moment. Oh, nice. Uh, you shared quest, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay, no, I'm not. We're not gonna go upstairs. We're gonna go inside the house and look for the exclamation mark. Down. There's an exclamation mark. Do you actually see it? Oh, yeah. oh there. Wow, how did I miss this? I started it. Whoa. Did that explode? Yes. Okay, we gotta stay within the area. And clear it. Oh, it, we've got we've got baddies on the map too. Actually, it gives us heads up. This is way better than doing any of the collector quests, and we're gonna get levels from this, which is something I'm all about. We just gotta figure out if it's worth it. If it's worth it to spam these, then it could be a viable way to level up. If it's not worth it to spam these, we'll just say ah screw it and go looking for hordes, as we casually build our base. Hey, that house has a pool. Let's move in there. <gasps> God damn it, mine, you divided by zero again. What I do? You fucked up gravity! Look, oh, look what you did! Cool, man. Look what you've done. <laughs> look, oh shit, oh god, I'm sorry, nurse! Oh shit, snacks and patty wax. I just, oh, I'm, I'm bleeding. Okay, we're alright. <laughs> we're alright! Right, we're alright, I, I managed to bandage. I man, oh, I managed to bandage. Ooh, loots! Snooze you lose, sucker! Snooze you lose, sucker! Oh, it's not worth well, it. Let me pick it up. It I, I got a SWAT helmet. Oh my god, was that guy right? So you and your bow and arrow hatchet just scared the absolute piss out of me. For some reason, you were bow and arrowing your hatchet. And now my pants are wet. God damn it. <laughs> well, this seems like a typical Nerd Prey video already. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are having a great time. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're getting a laugh out of it, that's always what, we're, what our goal is. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button for us if you did. We're going to get that out of the way in the beginning as we try to do this quest. Thank God baby ankles aren't a thing. I upgraded the baby ankle perk. Best perk in the game. Be the T-dubs. Get shit on. Are they in? They're inside. Our little blips are inside. Let's beat this door in then. He's helping. They're helping. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna club hump these dudes into submission. Get me some arrow backup and we should be just fine. I think this is our last two. It's called club humping because we're going in and out. In a repeated pattern. In and out and in. It's how you avoid getting hit! It's in and out. It's club humping. Do we do it? Do you see any more red dots? I don't have the red dots. 
don't, don't have the red dots. red dots. I don't see any more red dots either. Do we succeed? Uh, return to trader. Talk to trader. It yeah. looks like we cleared the area. Well, let's go get some sweet, sweet XP. So we probably got maybe 3,000-ish from just doing this. Uh, if we turn it in and get a nice little chunk, how far do we have to go? Uh, oh god. Don't cry. It'll be, it'll be alright. <laughs> we, <got laughs> we have to go a decent way! We definitely- oh god. We definitely have to go a decent way. What do you think? There's a trader over here that we discovered as well. Uh, it was this guy, right here. Boop trader, and then boop trader. So we have two traders very close to each other. If we were to do something, uh, let me do a shared waypoint. If we were to just do to do, do something right about uh, here, and let me see if I can share it. I hope that's shared. Oh, fuck it, I don't know. Right in the middle of these two traders, because we have the town over here. Are these traders as well? Oh, God, if all the traders are right there, that'd be kind of badass. I know those are just houses. Fuck, I'm lost. Anyway. Long story short, we'll build somewhere in the middle. Oh, a horde. Sweet mother of zombies, it's a baby horde. All right. Oh, Jesus. That's yeah. Awesome. That means lots of XPs. Lots of arrows to use, though. I gotta make arrows. Uh, I have 45. I'm just gonna fire randomly. Oh, I leveled up. Fucking A right. Uh, I, oh, I, what? what? I, oh, there, we have three guys protecting my ass, and you let the lady with half a head hit me? I feel like, I feel like I had it coming. I feel like I deserved it. Oh, no, well, shit. Okay, I'm glad I keep... You know what? I don't even need to aim. There's a horde. I'll just fire in their general direction and probably hit something. Pretty much. Fire until we run out of arrows. And I might... I'm gonna switch it up. My character's definitely going melee. I'm gonna... Imagine if it turned nighttime right now. Uh, that would be super bad. Like, we'd have to... We'd have to contact... God, what's that guy's name? I was going to make a super bad joke. Um... Ah, oh, shit. Help me in the comments before I can't... Before I can think of it. Michael, Sarah, and... W Jonah Hill! There we go. I knew we'd get there. Because it's super bad. Fuck, that joke would have been really funny if I didn't screw it up. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm doing great. Was your joke super bad? Ah! I like it! Yes, my joke was super bad. Thank you, dude. Thank you for saving it. I knew we could get there together. Yeah. Dude, four men versus a horde is... This is great. This is XP. For days XP. I like this. We gotta find more hordes. We gotta make more map heat. We gotta make some more noise. Yeah. And we gotta get some better weapons. Oh, yeah. We gotta start working on a base. I, I'm level 9. Before we can get forge for ourselves, we have to hit 20. Oh, shit, I'm out of state. 20. Otherwise, we're using the forge at the trader. That's why we want to build so close to him. But if we're near a trader anyway, it's not a bad idea. Or, oh, go shit, that I craft? No, okay. If we're near a trader anyway, it's not a bad idea because we can always use trader. Always. And their inventory should reset every couple of days. I think it's three, unless that's changed. That might be, that might be um, server side. Like, you can edit that to faster. You got one coming up on you, and I think we just cleared out that horde. Oh, kids. Get shrekt, Hazard Matt Zombie. Yes, that's right. I said Hazard Matt. That's his full name. Hazmat's his nickname. Oh, God, I'm getting stutters. All right, let's check it out. What do we get? We got one level at least. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. Back to the traitor. We've meandered our way back to the traitor. Oh, home sweet home that we haven't necessarily started yet, but we're in the general vicinity. Let's turn this in and find out if the effort was actually worth it. Uh, oh, wait, is this the... Uh, is this the confused trader that we got the quest from? It is! Well, your money is welcome here. Do you see why she's confused? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! She's gonna give me an iron leg, 452 coins, and a shotgun. Oh, no, so I can only... Pick one or the other. I can only choose one. Oh, buttholes. Um, I'm probably gonna think the armor might be more valuable in this situation, because... Didn't you, didn't Yoda? Didn't you find a shotgun? Yeah, I've got one. Should we? I mean, shotguns only as good as the ammo that you have. I'm gonna take the leg. And we get a thousand. Oh, oh, eleven hundred XP with a hundred bonus. Okay, 
Uh, and let's see if you have any other jobs. We can do it. Oh, God, it's always so far away. Another clear zombies at tier one. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and accept it. I don't know. What do you think? For, for 1,000 XP, that's two zombie kills. Three zombie kills with shared XP. Yeah, all the only bonus is the item. Well, I think it tears up. If you get the perk for it, right? Let's check it out. Uh, so it's got to be an intellect. Uh, is it charismatic nature? No, that's the party. The daring adventurer. Get an additional choice for quest rewards. Okay, yeah. Get extra coins. When you max it out, you can choose two quest rewards. Mm. And I'm going to assume that either the higher intellect or the more that you do it, it's got to be higher intellect. It's got to be higher intellect. Yeah, it must be. In the time, For the time being, in the beginning, as we wander through in the beginning stages, I feel like fighting off hordes and things of that nature to get leveled up is going to be a bit more lucrative. But the biggest point of why we're hanging out near this trader, that's not it, is that forge and that chem station. So what do you say we actually do some good here and start hitting the ground? I go put some Let's iron in the forge. Let's do it. Shovel. Let's do it. Our adventures into being underground mold people start basically right here. Yoda's already working on the tunnel. I'm falling into it. We have a torch. Our beds are down. Mine's working on a bug out area in case we get swarmed by any type of horde like uh, cluster of zombies. We just run up this quick little ramp here, pick up some stuff, and hopefully not, you know, do the dying. Even if we do, we're right outside the trader and our beds are down. Metal is currently smelting within the trader, even though he's closed, and we're collecting clay and should have some form of pickaxe by tomorrow morning. That's. Good news. I just hope that there's enough uh, pickaxe to go around for, you know, all of us. Normally, this wouldn't be achievable until level 20. I just hit level 10. But I think we're on the right path. I hope so. Are we making this kind of big in this area just to get the clay and the resources? Because I can help if that's what we're doing. I didn't necessarily want to start digging if we were going to uh, try to keep this as small as possible. Or do you think it really matters? Probably doesn't really matter. So we're, we'll do like a multi-tiered kind of, oh, you know what? If we want to do that, we might want to go the other way. Because we can reinforce the top of the conquer anyways later on. That's true. You know, we'll just make this, um, we'll continue to dig out here because eventually we're going to run into the wall of the trader. Like, like there, there's the little zone where it's completely protected, undamageable, and you can't do anything. You can't dig under the trader and you can't continue to progress forward this way. But we can use it for collecting resources in the time being. Because we're going to need that clay. We're also going to need whatever we can for metal. But the pick is going to have to come. We're putting the cart a little bit before the horse. The pick is going to have to come first. Let's see what we can do. And hopefully not get, uh, you know, zombie rained upon in the middle of the night. Because if stuff starts falling down this hole, we're screwed. <laughs> That's more or less what I was going for. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, my worst fears are realized! He broke our ladder! Is he dead? Get sh oh, he's he's dead! Oh, you killed him! He only broke one of our ladders and took a shit right on my forehead, but we're alright. <laughs> we're, we're definitely alright. I'll keep an eye out here. I'm now the lookout. I've been, I've been promoted. Since this hole is far too big for three Chilean miners. Is that still too soon? Can I make that joke yet? I think it's alright. I think we'll be all right. It's only midnight is all that we've hit. We're going to... This is going well. We've been toiling away all night and have, outside of the one zombie falling in on our head, have had no major problems. Knock on something wood-related. Uh, it's six o'clock. Does this guy... Oh. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Let's go in and check out the forge. Let's see what he managed to give us over... He, she managed to give us overnight. And it is... Not in here. Where is it? Uh, 540 iron. But it's still smelting. Did so Wait, did you already rob it? No. It's got nothing in the output. Uh-oh, it doesn't work. I'm extraordinarily devastated by this. I thought we were going to be able to... No, it's in there. I had. I, it was still smelting. I hadn't crafted it yet. I have to craft oh, it. Oh, that's okay. I need the clay. Oh, okay. oh, clay. You have clay on you, right? Yes, that's we, why I needed it. We collected it a decent amount. I had a mini heart attack. It has been a little while since we did the forge things in seven days. So I was like, oh shit, no, we're going to have to actually get to level 20. Oh, minor heart attack. 
totally avoided. But can we make the tools if we're not at a specific level? That's a good question. Let's see. Uh, pick. Okay, let me show you something. Don't touch me. No, come here. Follow Don't me. touch me. Forged iron 20. You just need the iron then. It doesn't actually... Oh, wait. No, there's an icon next to it. Come here. Okay, okay, fine. Where'd you go? What are we doing? Oh, is, oh, is there good stuff in here? <gasps> Did you know about this the whole time? Yes. Because I'm 98.6 degrees percent sure that I did not know that this was a thing here at all. I knew that there was the Kim bench. Holy shit, this actually saves the day. I forgot you needed to craft it at the table. Yep. Oh, best trader ever. This has saved our life. So we can still get Operation Pick and dig all the way to the bottom. Yes, that's the first thing I'm going to make us some picks. But the XP from mining has been significantly changed than it has in the Alpha 16 build. I wasn't getting much XP at all down there. We're still going to have to go out hunting. But we did make a decent amount of progress. While that uh, metal is actually cooking up with mine's clay, Yoda, you're still in the hole, right? So, yeah. Okay, let me check. We've done pretty good. For stone tools, we've done pretty good. Rambo lost his sense of direction over here. I'm not going to call any attention to that other than I already have. And, <laughs> and poor Yoda is stuck in the hole about as stuck as he can be. But I can build ladders for him. That's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, there's one ladder for you, two ladder for you, and three. You should be able to hop up. Oh, no, four. There. Now you should be able to hop up. We're making some good progress. Operation Mole People is in full effect. And definitely my favorite way to build a base in Seven Days to Die. We'll get some oopsie stone in here later, which is going to make a very quick appearance in Seven Days to Die Alpha 17 for nerd parade it was it played a big role in alpha 16 for us oopsie stone is you know the stone that you put back when you make mistakes and not that i'm calling any attention to fucking rambo but our base is totally just <laughs> i'm just listening to you buddy our base looks like shit now thanks to you great great but that is gonna wrap up the episode for us today guys i hope you liked it we made some decent progress progress in this one apparently it takes four men to keep me on track and prevent me from squirreling. That sounds really weird out of context, but we're not going to call any attention to it whatsoever. Most importantly of all, remember to take care of yourselves out there, guys. Smash the thumbs up button for us, like I mentioned earlier. Subscribe to the page for some more cool videos, or don't. I don't fucking know. But we'll catch you in the next one. Later.